This is something you've likely never seen before. A rare glimpse into the mass production of watch parts. Hello, this is Pitsman and we have something a little different from our other videos. Today we're taking you behind the scenes of watch production industry to show you how most timepieces are made. Often concealed for their confidentiality, access to these facilities is typically limited to employees and authorized personnel. Fortunately, we were granted a unique access to a few manufacturing sites in China and we're excited to share these exclusive footages. As of now, there are approximately 20 watch hands manufacturers in China. The impact of the COVID forced many of them out of business and more may follow as the smartwatch market expands. Luckily, we had the opportunity to tour a few of these manufacturers. Most watch hands are crafted from brass due to its malleability compared to steel. Of course, the steel hands are available particularly for creating authentic heat blued hands. Unlike painted brass, the first pitsman boasts hands with varying shades of blue that ship with different angles and lighting, the hallmark of thermal blowing. While simultaneously performing basic finishing to smooth the surface of the brass coil, the hands are pressed out. Most affordable watches use them in this state. Kindly, they gifted me these molds as souvenirs. These are going to be very good stamps that are excellent for everyday use. The small tube is attached and now it's ready. It's fascinating to see this old-fashioned machine still constantly produces excellent result after decades of dedication. Although attaching these tubes can be automated, manual craftsmanship remains crucial for intricate tasks. In mid-range and higher-end watches, additional finishing is employed known as diamond cutting. It is time-consuming and labor-intensive process. Individual watch hands are secured on a plate then ground down by rotating diamond wheel until a sharp polish finish is achieved. They're then heated to remove the adhesive. Here you can clearly see the difference. The finest watch hands undergo a unique process that unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film. Japanese watches are famous for this highly skilled method, which we were able to employ in upcoming pitsmen by using the same equipment and techniques as Japanese watchmakers. The application of the loom is a delicate process that requires a skilled hand. An experienced worker mixes the varnish and applies it with handwork to ensure a precise and even finish.
Once the hand production is complete, they are rigorously inspected to detect any that do not meet Pittsman standards. The higher the quality control standards, the higher the rejection rate, which drives up the final cost. Some luxury brands have rejection rates below 10%. Pittsman 2 uses top 20 of the highest quality hands produced. Tire manufacturers are also scattered in various regions. We were able to visit a few of them. It is rare to find a place that produces a blank tile from scratch, but from this manufacturer you can see the entire process because it has been in industry for decades at a scale that is considered to be one of the biggest and the best. They use a combination of modern and traditional equipment, but the most difficult and excellent result still depends significantly on manual craftsmanship. The normal effect is applied to the dial through a series of manual steps. This is making of a sunray dial at a reasonable price. We could only film the process of making basic indices and applying them to the dial, but unfortunately, we couldn't capture making of the three-dimensional indices with multiple facets using Pittman watches. China is vast and even within concentrated industrial areas, it can take from 1 to 5 hours to travel from one manufacturer to another. This massive object, which looks like it could withstand water pressure of up to 3000 meters, is the starting point for watch cases. The local manufacturer called it a blank case. Case manufacturer purchased these blank cases from dedicated factories for the shaping them. Experienced workers meticulously sculpt the case shape like carving a statue from marble.
It is gradually changing into a familiar appearance. Crafting ceramic bezel is another intricate task. The mixing and heating process was confidential. Comparing to the finished product to my 16610, it is overwhelming in size. Not that it is defective, but the size of ceramic will be reduced by 30 to 40 percent after spending a week at over 1,000 degrees Celsius. This transformation is factored into the design. While there are various complex parts in watch production, ceramic bezels are exceptionally challenging to work with. Ceramic is very fragile before the heating process, but it transforms into a completely different material after a week spent in an oven. The making of a bracelet is similar to the case. The bracelet production begins with blank links, which then go through a series of stages before being assembled into a bracelet, then polished and brushed. Let's move on to the next place. Try to guess where it is. This transparent cylindrical object is sapphire, which will eventually become a glass or bezel. The production of rubber straps is a simple process of pressing rubber, silicone or other materials into molds. Tea culture is a big part of Chinese hospitality. We are warmly greeted with delightful tea ceremonies served with great care and skill at every location we visited. We soon noticed that the tea was served mostly at the boss's desk. So remember if someone prepares tea in front of you when you're in China, it's highly likely you're conversing with the boss. All components from various vendors are meticulously inspected, assembled, and rigorously tested for water resistance.
可以给你。Finally, they're ready to go on your wrist. Thank you.